Hello everyone, I am Shivam and welcome to Pentest Guide. In this video, we are going to talk about how to pentest a website or a web application using OS Zap. I know that most of people favorite tool is Bobsuit, but when I am talking about uh, buying Bobsuit Professional Edition, my friend's reaction towards me is like, kidar se la ke dega baba, wo totla sand ko paisa kidar se la ke dega tu? And uh, my friend's reaction or my reaction to a zap is like what? Okay, so for the demonstration purpose, I'm going to use this uh, testphp.one web as well as I already set up proxy as well as also install SSL certificate from the zap. Okay, so here you can check over here, you will get uh, our target in this site okay so uh, first i'm going to simply uh, right click and simply going to spider the website so it will simply crawl a website and it will gives us a lots and lots of endpoint we can uh, go through the endpoint by uh, over here one by one okay or else we can simply click on this view button and we can click on show tabs and we can simply go to the param tabs so param tabs in param tabs you will get what you will simply get the lots and lots of parameters or we can simply say the endpoints of the website or web application so i am going to show some uh, example of vulnerabilities obviously that website is on already vulnerable so let's go with the first uh, this cat cat parameter available over here so i am going to simply right click and click on search so it will simply shows uh, us a different different values and all. Let's right click and click on send it to the request editor. Let's same uh, like a repeater from Bobsuit. I'm simply going to uh, add a single code over here and click on send. And let's search uh, or find a thing from the response by using Control F. We can also, uh, we can try the different different words like I'm trying over here SQL, but you can try error or MySQL. Okay, so it's totally depend on you. Okay, we got a sweet SQL message over here like you have an SQL, you have an error in your SQL syntax and all. Okay, so let's go to the another example. Let's go to the parent tab again and uh, as we know that this file parameter is already vulnerable for what LFI. You can watch my previous video uh, on the LFI. The link of the video is given in the description below. Uh, for this demonstration, I'm going to first this uh, pa file parameter with the different payloads. For, uh, so for that, uh, simply right click and I'm simply sending it to the request editor. For the first thing, we need to simply select the value. So I'm going to select this file parameter value, right click and click on first. We need to add a payload, so click on payload, click on add, and I have a list of payload over here. So let me copy it, and we are going to add it over here. Click on OK and click on Start Further. So it will simply show us in the new Further tab. We can simply go and check from the response uh, body size. Okay. So we, we can simply uh, go and check one by one uh, request and response from uh, over here. Okay, so click on the response. Uh, now we need to change this body image to text. Okay, so it's showing us what? It's showing us a valid result. Or we can simply right click uh, each of the request and we can simply go to the editor. So it's like what a kind of manual task. So it's better to check over here. Okay. The another thing I want to show that the rate limiting issue, uh, we can simply check with the web application. So we, we can uh, do the same thing over here with this app. 
like rate limiting issues with like what we can say uh, email, SMSs, login and all. Okay, so here I'm going to perform uh, like a fuzzing with the login. Okay, so here I'm going to provide false credential. Okay, so click on login and simply open history tab and we'll get what? We'll get the request. Uh, it simply shows the source, method and URL and all. Okay, so right click and uh, simply open it in the request editor. We need to select what we need to select uh, you, you, uh, the required values we want to first. So here I'm going to first both the thing username and password. So I'm going to first select the uname value, right click, click on first and we need to simply add a payload, click on add. And here I have a simple payload or password list, username and password. Simply going to paste it over here, click on add, click on OK. If you want to select another value, we, uh, we need to simply select it and click on add, click on add again. And uh, I'm simply going to put the actual value, which is valid test value. Okay, click on add, click on OK. Okay, I, I need to also uh, change this. So, okay, let me remove it first because it does not uh, select properly. Okay, click on add and click on add again and okay, good. Now we, we can simply click on start further and it will start further for us. Okay, so we, we can simply check the response, check the valid response uh, from what? From the size of the response body. Let me scroll it up and let's uh, double click. Okay, so it shows what? Reflected and you can check over here, it shows what? Logout test. Okay, so uh, like there are different different things we can test by using the app like we can also test csrf we can also encode and decode the thing by using the app itself okay if you enjoy the video do like and share it with your friends if you want to suggest any topic like this you can simply ping me on my social media handlers that's it for this video see you in the next video bye